Hello and welcome to your very own channel. Today we're going to be talking about NFTs. So, what do you think NFTs actually are? Have you heard of them before? If not, you're at the best place possible to find out. Stay tuned with us till the end of the video to know much more. Understand NFT and crypto. This year, it appears that non-fungible tokens, NFTs, have exploded from the ether. These digital assets have been selling like exotic Dutch tulips from the 17th century, ranging from any form of art and music to types of tacos and toilet paper variants. Some have even sold for millions of dollars. Are these NFTs, on the other hand, worth your money or the hype? Experts believe NFT crypto is a bubble that will burst, similar to the earlier dot-com mania or the Beanie Babies craze. Others, on the other hand, believe that the NFTs are here to stay and will forever revolutionize the investing game. What does it mean to have an NFT? To grasp the renowned question of what is NFT crypto, one must first understand how NFT is essentially a digital asset that tends to reflect a variety of real-world goods such as any art, certain music, a plethora of in-game stuff, and a variety of films. They are commonly bought and sold online, and they are frequently concerning Bitcoin. Many other cryptos have used the same type of underlying software to encrypt them. Several NFTs have been multiple digital creations that are already existent in some other form in any crypto platform, such as the several iconic video clips from NBA games or any different securitized versions of any state of digital art that has been already floating around and about on Instagram at least in these particular early times. What is the difference between an NFT and a cryptocurrency? The acronym NFT stands for Non-Fungible Token. It was created utilizing the same style of programming as cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin or Ethereum. However, this is where the similarities end. It's important to remember that any kind of physical money, as well as cryptocurrencies, are fungible, meaning they can be traded or exchanged for one another. They've also had the same worth as one another, just as one dollar has always had the same value as another one dollar. In the same way, one Bitcoin will always be similar to another Bitcoin. Cryptocurrency's fungibility makes it a relatively safe way to perform transactions on any given blockchain. NFT cryptos, on the other hand, are distinct. Each NFT has a unique digital signature, making it impossible for them to be exchanged for or equal to any other NFT, and so they are considered non-fungible. What are the NFTs and how do they work? NFTs are commonly found on a specific blockchain, which is a distributed public ledger that records various transactions. You are most likely the most familiar with any blockchain as the fundamental underlying process that allows these cryptocurrencies to exist. These NFTs are commonly held on the multiple Ethereum blockchains, despite the fact that other blockchains may provide them with the necessary support. The NFT, which is formed or rather minted from any digital entity that tends to reflect both tangible and ethereal stuff, frequently includes the following. Art, GIFs, highlights from sporting events and videos, collectibles, skins for video games and virtual avatars, sneakers by a designer, music. It should be noted that these NFTs frequently get exclusive ownership rights. That's right, you read that correctly. At any given time, the NFT cryptos can only have one owner. The NFT's unique data makes it exceedingly simple to verify them with their own and to transfer a variety of other tokens between their owners. Any precise information may be stored in them by the owner or the original inventor. An artist, for example, might sign their work and they might do so by inserting their signature in the NFT's metadata. What is it about NFTs that makes them so popular? This particular coronavirus pandemic has undoubtedly contributed significantly to the current NFT boom. According to studies from Non-Fungible and the BNP Paribas affiliated Res, the absolute value of these NFT transactions doubled in the previous year, rising to $250 million. That is due in no small part to the fact that the stay-at-home restrictions cleared the way for people to spend far more of their valuable time per using the internet and saving money as a result of the absence of transportation. It's comparable to the rise of retail traders betting on GameStop and other stocks, which led to historically hated stocks being advocated on the Wall Street Bets Reddit board. What are the most common applications for NFTs? 
a novel possibility to sell their numerous wares has been supplied by several blockchain technologies and the greatest NFT crypto artists and content makers. Artists, for example, would no longer be reliant on several galleries or certain auction houses to sell their work. Instead, an artist could offer this piece of art as a specific NFT to any interested buyers, allowing them to keep a far larger portion of their revenues. Furthermore, the artists may program in royalties to receive a set percentage of all purchases anytime their uploaded art is sold to a new owner. This has been a popular feature because artists typically do not earn any additional proceeds after their work has been sold. What are the dangers to be aware of when investing in NFTs? NFTs have attracted the interest of a number of high-profile technology investors, a number of big worldwide organizations, and the famous artistic community. According to some NFT proponents, this could be the feature of multiple collectibles, allowing users to show that they own the requisite digital assets. This burst of interest, on the other hand, seems to mimic the GameStop saga and the emergence of Reddit's Wall Street bets. NFTs, like any other investment, have their own set of concerns and hazards. Given their seeming infancy, the fact that these NFTs are once again poised to receive widespread adoption suggests that they have been a rather speculative investment. This would imply that they've been vulnerable to both large climbs and steep dips in any such values. NFTs are normally driven by supply and demand, and as a result of this unexpected rise in demand, there have been purchasers who are well prepared and willing to pay what appears to be an absurd price. However, it is to be noted that there would be no such guarantee to ensure that these prices would always continue to rise. What does the future hold for NFTs? While these ideas may look theoretical at this time, many technologists believe that NFTs could usher in a completely new economy based on unique digital ownership. Songwriters or other artists might make a lot of money just by selling their works directly to their dedicated followers and collecting a royalty every time their deemed NFT is resold. Developers may also be able to create infrastructure and platforms that will aid in the creation of these new markets. What steps do I need to take to invest in NFTs? Well, if you've been looking for a variety of ways to invest in the necessary NFTs, you'll need to be familiar with cryptocurrency and the requirement to own it, which will then need to be maintained in a specific digital wallet. You can buy Ethereum using specific platforms like CoinJar, CoinSport, or the Independent Reserve, which could then be used as the essential money for the NFTs. It should be realized that there are a variety of factors that contribute to people's desire to invest in these NFTs. People may wish to accumulate these NFTs for a variety of emotional reasons such as social status or because of the possibility of reselling these NFT cryptos at a greater price, which would in turn be based on the necessary excitement and momentum of that particular moment or scenario. This information was considered from www.blockchain-council.org. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure to like it and subscribe to our channel to know more. Also, tell us in the comment section down below of what you think about NFTs and would you ever consider using them or not. See you next time.